Thank you. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Warnock, Councilman Stokes. Uh, this kind of ties into the earlier issue. How will you encourage and develop a system of accountability for, for the municipal workforce to assure that they respond to citizen complaints professionally and in a consumer-friendly manner? <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Well, I heard y'all laughing out there because we know that that's exactly what is going on right now. And I talked about instilling a, a culture of customer service and saying, oh, you know, we've got a, a city government where the Department of Transportation says that one out of seven bridges in Baltimore City is structurally unsound, but they can't tell you which one. Every municipal pension plan in Baltimore City is on the verge of insolvency. It's 30% underfunded, which an actuary will tell you is the brink of insolvency, except for one. That's the one for elected officials. You can't make this stuff up. When Gregory Thornton goes into North Avenue, he finds $3.6 million worth of annual expenses. It's in the Baltimore Sun. He'll tell you privately it was $5 million. In ghost employees, in spouses that aren't spouses on the health care plan. And we haven't done an audit of our municipal functions since William Donald Schaefer was mayor of this city. Now this election is about a clear choice between the political status quo, people that have had their chance, people that have been at it for a long, long time, and a different vision, in a different vision. We will install accountability in City Hall. We will do those independent audits of municipal functions. This is about what you were doing when the cameras weren't working. I will bring in, as nine of the top 30 cities in America have brought in, a real city manager, a chief operating officer who works with me, to whom all the departments will report. And we will drive the city with a level of efficiency we see we haven't seen in a long, long time. Thank you very much. City Hall is run more by campaign contributions than by citizens' input. I don't know if you heard that. City Hall makes its decisions by campaign contributions more than it does by you. You can believe me because it's true. This is not Wikipedia. It's true. I know that I'm the guy, remember, who said we are going to audit everything, every minute, every day. I'm the guy who said it. And I'm the guy who moved the legislation to get the weakened version of it. But as mayor, it will happen all the time. All right, uh, this, uh, this is the last question. And uh, it's uh, several of our community associations have been forced to create their own vacant property databases, assessment maps, and reporting systems just to track problems with vacant properties in our neighborhoods. Uh, and try to resolve problems because the city agencies are, are not able to identify and track and resolve these issues. So what will you do to correct that problem and more importantly to engage communities, neighborhood groups in, in, in addressing these problems with vacants and, and, and health and safety problems at the neighborhood level? So Ms. Embry, Mr. McKesson, Mr. Harris. Baltimore City used to be a leader in the use of technology. We created CityStat, and we were one of the first cities to adopt the 311 system. We have come so far from that place, and we are now so far behind other cities that have leapfrogged ahead of us. And that's because of poor management, poor